Jason Daniels, thanks for joining us tonight. There was a massive rush for tickets by Notre Dame students today who are looking to attend the upcoming Wednesday night tribute to Father Hesburgh. The event is free, but it does require a ticket, and Notre Dame students got the first crack at them. WSBT 22's Zach Crenshaw joins us live in the studio with more on the huge turnout. An estimated 2,500 students got tickets in the first 30 minutes they were available today. Only a couple thousand are being made available for students as seating is limited in Purcell Pavilion. But today's turnout once again illustrates the legacy Father Hesburgh left at Notre Dame and the respect the student body has for him. More than an hour before the step and center doors opened, students were lining up. We just want to make sure I get my ticket. Waiting for a ticket to Wednesday's memorial tribute to Father Hesburgh. The man lived such an incredible life that the least I could do is give an hour of my time to get to celebrate his life. I wouldn't be a student here at the university if not for Father Ted because Father Ted was the one who made the decision to make this university co-educational. Most of the students had never met the man. I personally didn't ever get to meet him or know him, but the legacy left here is unparalleled and obviously he means a lot to our student body. Some students though, did know the beloved former president, like Madeline Paulson at the front of the line. I actually had the chance to read to Father Hesburgh um, for like three to four days a week over the summer and then once a week all of first semester. Madeline remembers the time together well as she read to Hesburgh after he lost his vision. He loves to know current events, so we read um, The Observer during school, um, we read The New York Times, Time Magazine, and then uh, if we still had time at the end after we finished everything, he would kind of ask if I had any articles that I'd read recently that I was interested in sharing with him. I don't know, he just wanted to make sure he stayed connected with the world. Even at 97, Father Ted was showing genuine interest in the students. He wanted to hear what it was like for a woman on Notre Dame's campus. Like, what was I studying? What was I interested in? Um, people I knew. Madeline hadn't seen Father Ted since right before Christmas. I was supposed to start um, this week, actually, um, reading to him again. But she never got the chance. Sad, obviously, to hear of his death. But at the same time, he always talked about how he was going to meet Jesus with open arms. He was like, he was happy to do so. As the students, like Madeline, picked up their tickets, they looked forward to Wednesday's celebration of his life. I think it'll be hard, um, but at the same time, it'll celebrate his memory, celebrate all he's done for us, and celebrate the man as well as the legend. Now, the university has not announced the program for Wednesday's tribute event. A spokesperson told me today there will be eight or nine speakers talking about major accomplishments in Father Hesburgh's life. There will also be musical interludes. Floor seats are being added to Purcell, but the majority of those are reserved for students, staff, and alumni. Live in the studio, Zach Crenshaw, WSBT 22 News. All right. Thank you, Zach.